All right, hello everybody. All right, so I recorded a video, but I forgot I I, I hid the uh, mouse cursor. So in this one, you know, I'll have the mouse cursor. Hopefully, you can uh, see it. All right. So this one, this video is about a helpful run through about everything you need to know about this game. Now I've been playing this for about a day and a half, and uh, I quite understand it, and I I get everything. So in this video, I'm going to show you about um, all the things you need to know. So we ha here we have our uh, we're in Daybreak Town, and you can see the members of our faction and they're chatting with each other so this version this button this box right up here this tells you that there's going to be an encounter in about eight minutes that's your advent so it'll count down this is your news this um, has um, patch notes um, who has the most lux and sign up sheet um, some about July 14th I think that's what it is all right so up here in this the top left um, we have the button that takes you back to Daybreak Town. This takes you back to your main home base. And you have uh, seven buttons on the bottom. And you have three buttons on the left over here. So we're going to go through the top buttons at first. So, okay. So this button takes you back to Daybreak Town. This button right here takes you to the world map. Or if you are already in a world and you come back to Daybreak Town. Um, if you come back, you click this button again, you'll, t you'll be taken to the exact same spot that you were in the, la in the last world that you were in. Now right here it shows your uh, your avatar, what level you are, how much light you've collected, and how much experience you are to the next level. That's pretty much straightforward. So over here we have your AP, which I have about 69 of her her. Um, so that's how much AP you have. That's about uh, uh, ability points or something. I think that's what they're called. Action points, I think that's what they're called. So um, you have a limited amount of those, and if when they're out, you have to either um, either go here and use a potion on it, which I have too, at which you get more of these for, for completing quests, which will be over here, missions. So, um, so you can either do that or wait, and that usually has a long waiting time, about two hours, which is kind of annoying. Over here we have battle points, which help you in the encounters, um, to fight the dark side, and, you know, as, as, same with the AP, um, the BP button allows you to, um, re-heal that. So over here we have your graphics, higher, 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 low, turning on and off the music. Now over here we have your menu. This is pretty much the same thing as the buttons down here. Um, so, like, right here is where you know all the missions are. Here's your party members. This takes you to. I haven't actually clicked this button, so we're gonna figure out. Okay, so this just takes you back to Daybreak Town. So this is your. Um, I think, um, I forget what this, okay, this is the world map, alright. I haven't, I, I never go on the menu, so I don't actually know what these are. Alright, so this is, um, your encounter, this is your party members, your missions, your story, this is your deck edit, your deck synthesis, and your keyblade upgrade. This has your potions, this is your, this is something, um, about materials that's not unlocked yet, since it's not in the beta. This is your Moogle shop. This is your um, character customization, so you can change his appearance whenever you want. This is your present. This is your present box. Your backyard, which isn't inv isn't um, integrated yet. This is help, so it'll take you to the help thing if you need help, which is all in Japanese. And this is what your serial code is. So if you pre-ordered 1.5 HD Remix in Japanese, then you can put a serial code in for um, a limited edition Sora card. So we're gonna return to Day Bike Town. Alright, so now, um, oh, this box right over here, this has two notes. This says that if you log in every single day during the open beta, you're gonna given, you're, you'll be given a gold Moogle card. And this one says if your avatar reaches level 20, you'll be given a Brave Form R plus um, rare card. Alright, so now we have the three bit buttons over here, since I've covered everything on the top. Now your three buttons are your present box, which if, our, if you complete missions, um, your gifts will be put in the present box, so you can select them from there. This is your mission log. Um, it has certain missions, and the missions are very simple, like kill a certain amount, kill five of these to get one of these, or kill five of these and get one of these, or collect ten of these to get a thousand money, and such like that. I don't know why this one is not done yet. I must have, I guess, mixed it, messed it up or something. I don't know. Or that's probably power this keyblade up once, and I get a thousand money. This one says I need to collect 30 of these to get a thousand Moogle points. 
Alright, so now we have your story, which is very straightforward. It's... Do a certain amount of things, which I am stuck in Wonderland at the moment. So now, we, now, we're, now we're going to the bottom buttons. This one takes you to your world selection screen. This one takes you to your encounter, which is this. This one should take you to your party member button, which should tell you who's in your party at all times. These four are the most important. Um, this is your deck edits screen, so we're going to click on this. This is take you to your deck edit. Now your deck edit is fairly simple. It may look confusing, but it's actually fairly simple. So you have your nine cards in your deck. This button is to optimize them by power. So you click that and it should automatically do it, which mine are already organized. The, now, if say, let's say if you need a card. Just click it. Done. And then to save that, click this and that. And it should be in your deck. Uh, now it's saved. But since I want this card back in my deck because I use that card, I'm going to have to save again since I edited my deck. Now that's your attack deck. You can switch your keyblade by go over here. This is your assist deck, which is the same thing, but these actually um, help you get more HP. So these add HP to your your max health, which are really important. So try to level those up as much as you can. So you do the same thing, drag one in, you know, as, as they are. Now you have three tabs here. This is your deck edit one. This is your deck synthesis, so we're going to click on this. Now, um, I don't have any cards because I made it, I did it in the last video. I, no, I didn't. I didn't do it with us. All right. So now there are three special cards. There, there are three type of cards. There's agility cards, which have the green wing. There are power cards, which have the red sword. And magic cards, which have the blue crystal. Now, depending on what you have, so let's see here. Sid, see how it, um, the text is white over the name, which means it's equipped in your deck. So cards without the name, without the word, are not in your deck. So you can drag them into this box right over here. So now, since these two have matching icons, she will gain more EXP from this card since she is the same type of card. Now, if I have one that ha is the exact same card in every single way, it'll, it'll get me something called a limit break, which increases the max level by five levels. Now, you normally would press this button to uh, synthesize it, but I don't want to get rid of my Sid, so I'm going to bring him back, and I can bring her back too. Now, assist cards can do the same thing. See, I have an extra Moogle card, but I don't want to do anything with it, because it's apparently rare. So I'm going to keep him back over here. Actually, here, I'll show you what um, these things work. So I'll use at least one of them. So it'll say yes or no, so you click yes. See, there we go. Now, now the card leveled up. Now he went from level 13 to level 14. All right. And this button is just saying about synthesis and stuff. So now your third button over here. This is your uh, trash, I believe. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I know you can check these and get rid of the cards. You can sell the cards, I think, for Moogle points. These are a thousand each, I think. I'm not sure. But you can do the same for assist cards. Or you can use this to uh, organize what you know what order they're in. Whatever. Alright, so we're going to return back to Daybreak Town. Okay. Oh, looks like there's an encounter now. So I already showed you the three main things. Now we're going to show you my Moogle sh the Moogle shop. This is pretty important too. Alright, so there are three tabs. There's this tab, the second tab, and the third tab. So this tab right here, you don't have to worry about. These are... Um, you have to pay 300 yen for one ticket. Okay, so it means that it has a really high chance of getting a super rare card, and a, and a slower, a lower chance of getting a super rare plus. But you can't, you have to pay real money for these, which is unfortunate. So we have on the second tab over here. This is the second tab. Now there are gold tickets, silver tickets, and bronze tickets. Bronze tickets. Um, are a chance of, you know, getting normal N, N, and N plus cards. And there's a very low chance of getting an R card. Now the silver tickets are, you know, they're very com the very common cards are rare cards, or the R cards. And it's a slim chance of getting an R plus card. Now the gold tickets are, um, 
really common for our plus cards. And it's really, it's a slim chance for getting a super rare card, which is the SR. So that, that would explain that. And you get these cards from either completing missions or completing um, the encounters. So now your third tab over here is your Moogle Shop. So you have Moogle Points. So you can spend a certain amount of Moogle Points on one card. Or you can spend more Moogle Points on multiple cards. Such as, you can spend 100 Moogle Points on one card. Or 2,000 for 10 cards. Something like that. That's pretty much the gist of it. So now we're going to return to uh, Daybreak Town. And since there's an encounter, I'm going to show you what that's like. Now this is um, where your faction teams up together to defeat a dark side against... Um, you're racing against another. So we couldn't kill him last time since... we. So it ran out of time. So there's another one. Let's go here. Alright, so it looks like the blue team, which is... We haven't done anything to this dark side yet. So I'm going to start this off and I'm going to attack. Now your first attack is you have you don't need any battle points it doesn't require any battle points if you want to attack again it'll cost three battle points which you should have five at the top so we're going to attack him This is the normal combat. I'll show you combat as well. Now, depending on what order your card is in in this section of your Keyblade, it'll power it up, making it stronger. Now, don't worry about um, if you die during this part, everyone dies during this battle. So you don't have to worry. It all matters to what level you are and how many hits you can survive. So I just did that for my team that much right there. So she must have done this about a minute ago. I don't know, it seems. So um, we can return to the day breakdown. And I can show you the world map here. Oh, I'm, okay. I was in Agrabah, so I'm walking around in Agrabah. You hold the mouse button down to, uh, or click to an area you want to go to. Um, if you want to use AP, you can, you, know, you can use this to collect these. Say I want to fight a random Heartless. A little lag right there, but that's okay. It's turn based, so he'll attack me, and then I'll attack him again. You just click to attack. Alright, and that should pretty much be it. Um, I should have covered pretty much everything. Um, I hope this helps. So uh, if anybody needs help, and you know, come to me and I'll answer some questions. Thanks.